Jesus Christ, God Almighty Himself, He is on the cross. And it says this. Two of us who were criminals were led away to be put to death with Him. And when they came to the place that was called the stone, there they crucified Him and the criminals, one on His right and one on His left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they cast lots and divided His garments. And the people stood by watching. But the rulers scoffed at him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself. If he is the Christ of God, he is chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering sour wine, and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There are also inscriptions over him, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who hanged railed at him, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God? since yet you are under the sentence of condemnation. And we indeed justly, for we receive our due rewards of our deeds, but this man has done nothing wrong. And he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Glory to the Lord. This is the story of Jesus, a true story now. This is a true story of what happened to Jesus, that we came down on this earth, came down to do one thing, not to make a bad man good, not to make a, a good politician, not to be a good person. He came to make dead men live again. Amen. That's what the Lord come on. How did he do it? He didn't do it by fancy words. He didn't do it by his miracles. He did it by dying upon the cross for me and for you. This is what Jesus came to the earth for. He came on the earth to be crucified and to die. And with Jesus, we see here in this story that there is two men with him, two thieves, two men who deserve to be punished on the cross, two men who was having their due reward, just like he said, he admitted to it. He said, I am going to get my due reward, you're going to get your due reward, but this man has done nothing wrong. These two men were thieves and they were getting what they deserved. They were getting what they deserved and getting punished, being put on the cross and die. And I want to tell you something today, me and you, if we don't accept Jesus into our lives tonight, if we don't do something about it tonight, we will get our due reward as well. We will get our due reward. And you don't want to know what your due reward is if you don't accept Jesus into your life. What you will get and what I will get if I didn't accept the Lord into my life and I didn't repent and live a holy and righteous life towards the Lord, I will get hell. And these two men, they are so different. Two of them thieves just about to die. But two of them went to a complete different eternity forever and ever. One man went to heaven with Jesus. He said, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He confessed of who he was. He realized who Christ was next to him. He realized who Jesus was. He was right next to him. And he accepted him. And Jesus said, today you will be with me in paradise. This one man is now in heaven. Over 2,000 years, this man has been in heaven in glory. He died of a horrible death, but he is in glory now. Yet the other man who mocked at him, the other man who said, save yourself. If you are the Christ, save yourself. You want to know who he is today? For 2,000 years, he has been in hell. And he will be in hell forever and ever and ever. Amen. He is still there to this day. Two men who are so much alike. He could have even been friends. I don't know. Two men so much alike, yet they will never see each other ever again. One will be burning forever and ever, and one will be with God for eternity, for all time. Two men, and there is two options tonight that we have as people. There is two options that we have. We can be like these two men. We can be like each one of them. Tonight we can accept the Lord into our lives and go to be with God when we go on to be with Him when we die. Or we can be like the other tonight who goes to hell. The option tonight is you. You can be so close to God. These men were so close to the Lord. They was put on the cross with him. He was put on the cross one to his right and one to his left. He was right next to God. And this one man who didn't accept the Lord into his life, he was so close to the Lord. He's sitting die upon the cross. He's sitting, he was right next to him. So close to him, yet so far away. So close to him. And you can be in this meeting. You can come to church four times a week. You can read your Bible every single day of your life. You can be so close looks like you're being so close to the Lord and yet when you die you're so far away from Him. Amen. What you must do tonight brothers and sisters tonight, friends tonight what you must do 
is accept Jesus into your life. And not only accept Him into your life, what have you got to do then? You've got to turn away from your sin and repent. Live a holy and righteous life towards the Lord. There are so many people today, unfortunately, that say they are Christian by mouth, but their hearts speak a different word. They say they are Christians, yet their lives speak differently. You know what the Bible tells me I have to do when I accept the Lord to my life? I have to change. There must be fruit of what I have said. When I accept the Lord into my life and I say, Lord, forgive me, there must be something changing in my life. The old man has to die and the new man has to live. We've got a scripture there. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, Christ, he is a new creation. Are you a new creation tonight? Can you say that tonight? If you claim to be a Christian tonight, can you say that the old man is dead and the new man is gone? Are you changed tonight? Is there anything different in your, in your life tonight or is it just a title? I claim to be a Christian, and yet my life is no different. Friend, you are not a Christian. Those that haven't accepted the Lord into the life tonight,